Hi, everybody. It is April 13, 2019. Did you hear this? The Russian Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov, declared today that the Western liberal model of society is dying and a new world order is taking its place. Lavrov made the comments at his annual meeting with students and professors at the Foreign Ministry's Diplomatic Academy, the Western liberal model of development, which particularly stipulates a partial loss of national sovereignty. This is what our Western colleagues aimed at when they invented what they called globalization. It's losing its attractiveness and is no more viewed as a perfect model for all. Moreover, many people in the very Western countries are skeptical about it. According to him, global development is guided by processes aimed at boosting multipolarity and what we call a polycentric world order. You don't think Russia is a part of this new world order? I mean, look, the reshaping of the new world is uh, the order. It's, well, communism on steroids. Yeah, and a whole lot of people really do believe that Putin is going to save us. I don't. I don't. Yeah, what we are witnessing now is a grand staging of loss of individual rights up the wazoo loss of truth and a law that will always be two-tiered. The rulers will impose the law upon us and we will be prosecuted for any uh, illegality. It won't even be a crime. There will be no victim jaywalking, not wearing a seatbelt, speaking the truth. We will be prosecuted as the powers that be continue enjoying life, laughing, and unfortunately held on a pedestal, still worshipped by too many people. <laughs> you know, this Julian Assange, now, look, I am not interested in hearing that he died and he's a clown. Afghanistan. Um, because frankly, what this video, what I want to say, really doesn't have anything to do with Julian Assange. It has to do more with uh, good versus evil and truth versus lies. But uh, that Ecuador has stated apparently that they turned him over because he became unruly, that he was, I don't know, I heard that he wiped feces on walls or whatever. You know, uh, who knows if any of that is true. Ecuador, now they have a ruler that is a U.S. puppet. You make a phone call from the White House, do this, and they do it. So... Julian Assange, after seven years, gets pulled out of the Ecuadorian embassy, not looking very good. You know what happens when your life is destroyed? Huh. When you have, when you're suddenly in a circumstance and you don't have access to anything you need, all your needs never get met, you have lost all of those resources that you use to keep yourself you know sane and healthy and of mind and body and spirit it's all gone when you live that every single day for years and years you do that why did they use isolation as torture because it breaks the individual their mind their body, their psyche. So, listen, listen to this, and um, it's really. And those of you who think 
none of this is real. And you're going to leave me comments saying you're still using mainstream media as, you know, a look. You're not getting what I'm doing, but pr pretend it's uh, real. Just pretend that it's real because the significance of this, the seriousness of this is real. The script might be staged, might be fake. The implications of what's happening, the consequences of all of this fake news on mainstream media, that is what you should be concerned about. Because they always have an agenda. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to go with Julian Assange is still alive and he was, you know, finally um, turned over. But do I know that for a fact? No. Okay. What really is important is the rule of law is gone. It's gone. It has been gone for a long time. We are not a country ruled by law. Justice means nothing. Morality means nothing. Exposing the powers that be, the criminal gang who are put in these positions that so many still, they regard them as these successful, oh my God, they're at the top of the rung of success and they've made it and an awful lot of people do worship them and that is where our problem lies. See, we don't have... We can't reach the powers that be. We can't reach people like Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton and Trump and all. We, they're unreachable. It's our fellow Americans. That's where hope lies. But you see the condition that they're in. How do you have hope when you in your real life, because I know that a lot of you experience this, you leave, you have left the comments. No one cares. No one cares. Wow. Okay. Just, I'm going to play just a minute of this. Breaking news, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange arrested in London. After seven years of asylum in the Ecuadorian embassy, the Ecuadorian government released Assange to British authorities, and he could now face charges in the U.S. ABC's David Wright starts us off from London. Good morning, David. Good morning, George. Julian Assange is now inside this magistrate's court here in London, getting ready for the first of what's likely to be many court hearings in his case. Uh, the official charge from U.S. authorities in an indictment unsealed this morning that he conspired with Chelsea Manning to hack computers and publish classified documents and data uh, related to the U.S. war effort in Iraq and Afghanistan. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? So, if you don't know anything about the Pentagon Papers, which I don't want to get into, um, look into it. Pentagon Papers. But, um, exposing crimes, lies, atrocities, it was never regarded by the powers that be as a good thing. But people used to regard it as a good thing exposing the truth. We, where are our fellow Americans? Listen to this. You have some familiarity with the work of Mr. Assange. I, I do, I do. I Couldn't do. happen to a nicer guy, is my view, but. Well, look, I, I think um, it is a, uh, it is clear from the indictment that came out. It's not about uh, punishing journalism. It's about uh, assisting the hacking of the military computer to steal uh, information from uh, the United States government. And do I need to remind you of the crimes that have been committed by this woman? This woman is so psychopathic. She's 
a malignant narcissist, pathological, has committed so many crimes, turned our State Department into this pay-to-play auction house to enrich herself. So psychopathic, so disturbed is this woman that she could actually laugh. Uh, having heard that Gaddafi, he was murdered in the most horrific, and I don't even want to talk about how horrific, murdered. These people have turned countries into hell holes, Libya, Iraq, I, it's, okay, so, she actually sent out classified information and putting it in like a declassified code. She sold, she sold secrets. Whoever came up with the highest bid. She sold them out. We know this, but she goes free. And she's put on a stage, yes, with her criminal husband, who yet is another sick psychopath. And the moderator laughing, the audience laughing. They make a joke of it. It's funny. This guy's life, Julian Assange, has been so destroyed. And look, um, whether this is real or not, he's a clone, he's not a clone, he died, Carol, I can't believe that that's there. No, because so many people's lives are being destroyed. Now, we get to hear about someone like Julian Assange. We don't hear about all the other people who have been destroyed by evil that never get held accountable. And we support those who do the destroying. UK, you know, Sweden had those charges which have been dropped um, in uh, the last several years. But the bottom line is uh, he has to answer for what he ha is, has done, at least. But Hillary never has to answer. This is so sick and twisted, and we unfortunately have so many people who, who don't know how to think, who are mentally ill themselves. You know, when, when you used to be a country ruled by law, and yeah, the elite, you know, very often got away with their crimes. Now, it's so in our face, it has become, you know, this criminal government of ours has gone rogue. You know, they... Uh, they're out of control. Uh, you know, we've got Trump now, who's actually, via executive orders, writing regulations. Uh, how does that happen when the Congress is supposed to be doing that? That happens when the people don't care and can't see, and they're mentally ill themselves. Rule of law is gone. We don't have three branches of government. No, we're not even a government. It's a corporation. Yes, that's true. But those who hang on, hang on to this illusion that we still are a country that is ruled by law as opposed to a country ruled by the elite, quote unquote. At this point, they're pathologically delusional. Because it's in our face now. They need help. They're not right. They're mentally ill. They're not of sound mind. They're of sick mind. And we've got a lot of them. That's where our pro problem lies. As it's been charged. I do think it's a little ironic that he may be the only... Uh, foreigner that uh, this administration would welcome to the United States. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay! And then they applaud. Typical of a narcissist. A sick, twisted, evil woman with no conscience, 
no moral core, put on a pedestal, still admired. You know, oh, so Assange, I don't even want to be looking at her. Assange, he exposes the lies, the crimes, the atrocities, the uh, violations of domestic and uh, international law. Uh, he exposed the evil of a whole lot of this gang that this woman is in. But he gets destroyed. And the, the crimes, they never get held accountable for him. You know, when evil, it's clear that it's trumping good, that's when people need to really get out and enforce and fight like hell because that evil is coming to your doorstep and it's come to millions and millions and millions of doorsteps. Not just in Iraq and Afghanistan and Syria and Libya, uh, Venezuela, um, the sanctions imposed, Venezuela, Iran, Iraq, oh, Madeleine Albright, yeah. I think it was worth killing 500 Iraqi children. She thinks it's worth it because they had an agenda. And we go on. You know, we degrade our own sense of morality when we pretend that we're still this uh, country that is morally superior, ruled by law, when we, we live that delusion, we're degrading our own sense of ourself of, by pretending. Those who are grossly immoral are moral somehow. So the powers that be didn't want to be exposed. That's why this is going on. That's why this is going on. It's, you know, it would be laughable if so many lives were not destroyed. And the insanity now, I mean, it continues to grow every single day. Um, it's clear that something is very wrong. You know, when this guy exposes the lies regarding Afghanistan, the lies of Obama, the lies of Hillary Clinton, who, who is so criminal, it's like, beyond, you know, how could anybody believe that this woman is not a criminal? I don't know. Um, you know, Obama, Nobel Peace Prize laureate, yo, when he's dropping bombs, hundreds of thousands of bombs were dropped during Obama years, killing innocent children, the elderly, innocent civilians. And you know, my former liberal progressive Democrats didn't care. They didn't care. They didn't want to hear it. They didn't care about the truth. They cared about protecting their guy in office. They were wowed by this brand Obama, the personnel. Oh my God, he walks on water. He's so spiritual. They would not allow in the truth about what this guy was about then, is about still, and certainly was about when he was in office for eight years. The truth did not matter to them. That's why the criminal gang is now out of control. You know, Obama campaigns. Oh, and didn't we love hearing it that he was going to hold those neocons accountable for their lies, the Bush, Cheney, Rumsfeld, those lies that got us into uh, Iraq, weapons of mass destruction. And we found out about those lies. And listening to Obama that he was going to hold them accountable for those lies. Everybody was wowed. Yes, that is what needs to be done. Well, he came into office. What did he say? We're not going to look back. We're going to move forward. And what did my liberal progressive Democrat friends say? That, that was a good idea. That was a good idea. Let's not hang out in the past. Wow. Okay. So we're going to let the criminals go free again. And then Trump did it with Clinton. 
his first interview. Ah, they're good people. They're good people. Hillary Clinton, really. Again, um, do you understand the connection between we the people and them? That this woman has people applauding her, our fellow Americans in this audience. Uh, they're the enablers of the perpetrators of crime. You know, it's think of the family. All right. Um, the individual, the collective, there is a connection. So you have this family. And I think most of you know uh, enablers. So let's say the family is uh, riddled with domestic violence, an alcoholic father. The mother, who's not an alcoholic, brings the drinks to the alcoholic father. He gets drunk, beats up his kids, and she herself. But the next day, she's bringing that drink again. She's an enabler of the abuse that he commits. She can't um, absolve herself of responsibility, claiming that it's just he that is abusing the kids. She too is, because she's bringing the drinks. She's not well. She's got her own sickness, and she is in a dance with the guy that's beaten up her children. She's got, she has a right to stay in a relationship with an abuser, She's an adult. Go ahead. But you don't have a right. You know, as a mother, you have the responsibility to protect your children. So you're abusing them too by showing up with that drink. These Americans who applaud these people are the enablers. And they cannot absolve themselves of responsibility for the crimes that they commit. Was I part of that enabling absolutely but you've got to do work on yourself to lift yourself up so that you're no longer enabling these people you know um otherwise you're can you claim that you're a good person no you can't you know so what we do instead because it's easier we vilify, slander, drive crazy, jail, uh, destroy the life of the truth teller. You know, it's um, those who are doing good. Those who are taking actions that could change the world, put it on a direction that is... Uh, has a moral compass, a good direction to bring about goodness versus more evil. But because we have so many people, not just in this country, but all over the world who just don't care, then all of them enable the truth teller to be destroyed and enable these people who were just so wowed, oh my God, Hillary Clinton, and look at that fabulous leather um, uh, suit that she's got, and doesn't she just look great? No, she looks like, wow, a very ugly human being to me, but that's when you can see clearly. That's when you finally have done the work and you see clearly. You're now of sound mind, and they repulse you. It's hard to even look at them but then hard to look at what they do to other people. Now, regardless of laws, I don't give a shit. But, you know, I don't care. We know that exposing people's crimes and lies, atrocities, is a good moral thing to do. We know covering them up is a bad thing to, bad thing to do. So, that is enough for me. Now, a, a law does not mean that it's morally uh, good. A law just means that it was passed by men 
and women, human beings. And very often we see governments passing laws and they have their own agenda. This is not about national security secrets, which was claimed, right? How many people claimed national security secrets? Oh my God, he has left uh, so many American soldiers at risk. Um, they're going to die because of what Julian Assange has done, revealing national security secrets. See, those are the two words, national security. That's, that's the cover-up of the lies and atrocities. National security. It's a secret, sorry, you can't know. Um, it, who puts our American soldiers at risk? The powers that be. The quote-unquote elite. Who profit from these wars. Who send soldiers over to foreign countries to occupy those countries so that the quote-unquote elite can go in safely and rape, pillage, steal the resources of that country. That's the point. They're not over there to protect American citizens. So who's putting them at risk? Well, the American mother and father who uh, are so proud of their um, offspring that have become soldiers, they put them at risk because they're still of sick mind not of sound mind. They still have this, you know, delusional psyche that tells them that my son or daughter is over there to protect us. No, they're not. They're over there to occupy countries for the powers that be so they can steal their resources. They're over there because the military industrial complex makes a shitload of money from war. That's what it's about. But they don't want to look at that truth. They want to maintain the lie and in, in, enable all of these people, uh, the, the crimes that they commit and they enrich themselves by those crimes, but they're enabling them families of soldiers, they're all enabling them. The soldiers themselves enabling these people to commit crimes. They don't care whether your son or daughter dies over there. They don't care. And when they come back into the country, do you really think that they're going to take care of them? We know the truth. But so many want to pretend this ain't happening. Uh-uh. Don't tell me that. It's not happening. So it's these people who put American soldiers at risk, not Julian Assange. And, you know, how do you get through to people when they want to stay in the lie? Uh, you got me on that one. They want to remain sick. They, You know, it's like, um, the enabler, you know, she wants to remain sick, you know, in that example. That mother, the wife of the alcoholic, she wants to remain in her known because the unknown is scary. Changing means changing a dynamic and you don't you don't know because you've lived this way for years and years and years. Well, if I change, the ripple effect will change everything. The dynamic will change. And what will that change bring? I don't know. I'd rather stay with what I know. And what I know is that I'm going to get beat up after a certain amount of drinks that I bring to my husband. I'm going to get beat up, but I know it. What will happen to me if I change? I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of these people, they fear the unknown. They don't want to change. They want to keep continuing on just the same. I want to be in the lie. I don't care about truth. I don't care about the crimes or whatever. I'm just going to look at these people and regard them as, oh, they are elite. 
they're at the top rung how successful and look at this suit that she's wearing and money material position that's what matters morality substance goodness don't matter don't matter that's how these people continue on destroying good and evil has oh boy it has taken over and it's quite clear that it has taken over so uh, the Bush, Cheney, Rumsfeld team, the neocons, well neocons, Trump brought a lot of them back into his administration um, this is what happens when individuals don't change nothing changes everything gets worse everything gets worse you know how do they continue on this way our silence our refusal to hold them accountable our lack of care and or fear of the unknown if I change well, well what are they gonna do to me look at what they're doing to Julian Assange and a lot of us know what they have done to holistic doctors and scientists and biologists and and uh, even just the ordinary me right the ordinary people on YouTube videos no longer being recommended oh you violated community guidelines and uh, terminate uh, and what we are seeing is mainstream media man taking over we will all be affected the truth is going down the toilet it's going down it's going down fast and soon enough you will only be able to get one answer you will only be able to get one resource for news that's it and that's the official corporate news and when you look at YouTube and what they're doing now you almost only get the authoritative sources as a result of your search but I uh, let's see um, what can I put in injustice the injustice um, uh, well injustice behind Julian Assange Sky News Guardian News The Sun RT Channel 4, RT, DW, I don't know what that is, but it looks mainstream. Um, Daily Mail, NBC, MSNBC, RT, Guardian, MSNBC, Guardian, Daily Mail, RT, The Sun, CNN, RT, Sky News, Democracy Now. Well, that's the only place you're going to get a little bit of truth, but Democracy Now! We know <laughs> our Amy Goodman, you know, the quintessential disinformation agent. Funded, she claims to be funded only by viewers like you. No, well, I think that's actually NPR. Um, but she claims that only gets the funding funded by the viewers of Democracy Now! That's bullshit. CIA indirectly, George Soros directly, she gets funded. Um, so, and she is the disinformation queen for climate change. All right, CNN, uh, redacted tonight. Okay, isn't he an RT guy? I don't know, but Daily Mail, RT, Ruffley. Russia in insight Euro news Euro news Euro news Guardian RT this is all you're gonna get soon enough that's it we're going down the memory hole how did this happen people don't care in action never holding anybody accountable in the early 80s the social engineering of the ordinary populace I noticed and I, I couldn't um, 
articulate it as social engineering, but I noticed something very strange happening. Blame. That word blame. Suddenly when you said the word blame, oh, you were regarded as something, you know, you were not a good, you know, person. Blame. Suddenly, we no longer blamed anyone. That word, they wanted to just snuff out. Why? Because they didn't want to hold, they didn't want to be held accountable. New Age movement, moral relativism. You don't hold anybody accountable because everybody is deciding for themselves what is good, what is right, what is wrong, uh, what is moral. The most, I, and I've seen it with friends, their obvious immoral behavior, they got to decide. You know, like it was, now it's all subjective, it's not objective, and well, they go on, you know, kind of like living this Disneyland life, you know, making up things, you know, however they want to make it up. So when you have a people that don't have much of a moral core themselves, they sure as hell are not going to be holding anybody accountable for their immorality. They don't want to be held accountable themselves. So that's also one of the subconscious, you know, well, I lie and I'm living a lie, so I don't want to hold anybody accountable for their lies because, oh, well, it might just kind of open the gates, you know, and I'm going to recognize my lies and I don't want to change, so I'm just going to continue on with the pretense that I live, the delusion that everything is just fine. Yeah, we got some problems, but no, it's really now uh, evil has run amok. So, you know, um, it really is essential, you know, for the individual. And of course, it's got to be the individual and the aggregate to make any kind of you know, quick changes, but the individual has to do the work to change themselves. And if they don't, then they are the enabler of those who are committing such evil. The two go hand in hand. You can't separate them, you know, and um, unfortunately, they go hand in hand to the point where they have allowed the, the people, the collective, have allowed themselves to be so manipulated because they don't even know who they are. And when you don't know who you are, you are so easily manipulated. If you do not know how you tick and somebody else does because they've done all of, you know, the work to gain the knowledge about the psyche, individual psychology, the individual psychology, they know how you tick, but you don't. You are so easily manipulated, and when you allow yourself to remain in that condition, you cannot, you're not on the side of good. You know, the, we, we have to somehow get through to our fellow Americans. Um, you know, it's, Violently absurd now, our country. Violently absurd. It's so, but not funny absurd. But it's violently, absurdly dark. The, it's like the psychopathic violence of the rulers. It is because we've allowed them to go free. And we haven't cared too much about the truth tellers. We let them get destroyed. You know, it's, it's never been so clear. More in our face than it is now. And people, you know, you have all, you have opportunities every single day to do the right thing. Every day presents opportunities to do the right thing. Make your voice known. Make it loud. 
regarding what's happening with Julian Assange and anybody else that you know who is being destroyed. You need to support the good and you need to really come down hard on the evil. Otherwise, you'll be waiting for the evil to come right to your door to destroy you. <laughs>